All right, I got him brought back over from our neighbors. We're gonna go make some cookies. make some food. For old fashioned oatmeal cookies, you're gonna need a half a cup of softened butter, three fourths cups of packed brown sugar, a half a cup of white sugar, two eggs, one and a half to two teaspoons of vanilla, one and a half cups of flour, one teaspoon of baking soda. Depending on how much you like cinnamon, you can do one to two teaspoons of cinnamon. I'm gonna do two. A half a teaspoon of salt, and then I want more of a chewy texture in my cookie, so I'm gonna do half old fashioned and half quick oats, a cup and a half of each. If you just want a straight chewy cookie, go for three cups of old fashioned. If you want a soft cookie, go for three cups of your quick boots. All right, guys, I'm back in from bringing Christopher back over. The neighbors like the horses to go over and mow, but we've been having problems with the horses wandering off, so they're back. All right, so in this big mixing bowl, I have my butter, brown sugar, and white sugar, and I'm just gonna mix this. Oh, my butter got a little bit harder. I'm gonna mix this until it is all combined. If you have an electric mixer, that would be helpful, but I don't want to pull up my big, huge stand mixer. All right, here's my helpful hint. Grab a pie pan or something that your bowl fits into. Put some hot water around it. Now don't fill it too full because you don't want to overflow and have water everywhere because that would just make a big mess. So then what you can do is stir this around so the butter is touching the outside walls and it will melt your butter a little bit more or soften your butter. All right, I'm gonna throw my two eggs in. And my vanilla. All right, now mix all that. All right, guys. So I've got all this done. I'm gonna swap bowls. I'm gonna sprinkle in my baking soda, my cinnamon. I love cinnamon, so I did the larger amount. I did the two teaspoons. My salt. Give this guy a stir. All right, so I got all that mixed together. I'm gonna dump this guy in. Fun fact about me, this is my favorite part of making cookies. This mixture right there. Mmm. If y'all weren't here, I'd be licking this. But you are, so I guess I have to act like some sort of a lady. All right, so I'm just gonna stir this together. Remember, it is gonna be a super, super thick mixture. If you, Like I said, if you have a hand mixer, that would be really nice right about now. All right, guys. It's been like 12 hours later. I'm still mixing. Kitty. It does take a little bit. Okay, so I have two cookie sheets here. I'm going to bake some of these now, but then we're going on vacation at the end of the month and I'm gonna have some that are not cooked, but frozen, so frozen dough balls. And I'm gonna show you how that works. All right. So I just have a regular spoon here. You can shape them with your hand or you can just blob them on. I am a busy mom. I don't have time to shape too many cookies, so yeah. Um, I love freezing these, um, so you just can grab however many dough balls you want out and bake them. It's super easy. Okay, so you can either do a silt pack or a piece of foil or 
uh, parchment paper, whatever you want. I just, it's easier to get off. So you can put them super close together because they're not baking, they're just going in the freezer. And you just are gonna do a flash freeze on them. So I'm gonna put them on here. I'm gonna run them out to my freezer and put them in for about an hour, hour and a half. And then they'll be frozen enough you can just throw them in a zip bag or a freezer container of some sort and then back into the freezer. Um, I've kept dough balls like this for six months before. Three to six months is a good time. Um, and that is about what would be for Christmas. So you could make a batch of cookies now when you have the energy and time and then pull them out, make a huge batch of cookies right before Christmas. So these ones I'm gonna run out to my freezer. Let's stick these guys in the oven first. All right, eight minutes and then we'll check on them and see how they're cooking. I'm gonna take these guys out and stick them in my freezer and we'll be right back in the kitchen. All right guys, so these have just a little bit of a spring, but they come back, they don't squish down and stay. All right, so I'm pulling these off. I'm gonna get another batch in. I can smell this cinnamon, oh my gosh. Mm -hmm. Take me back to when I was little. My mom used to make these. Um, oh, I did forget to mention, if you like raisins or chocolate chips, when you're still mixing that big batch of dough, throw the chocolate chips in there or raisins, whichever one you want, mix them in then, and they will be chocolate chip oatmeal cookies, or if you want raisin oatmeal cookies, I just like them like this because I like to taste the vanilla and the cinnamon and just have the oats. I feel like it's a healthier cookie without the chocolate chips. All right, guys, these are come out and cooled. These guys, my husband likes them a little bit more crunchy so it has a little bit more of a break to it. I like them a little bit more chewy and gooey and pull apart like that. These ones are still a little bit warm. So these ones took about 12 minutes to get that good snap on it. And then these guys took 10 minutes. There you go. Thank you. Mmm. Good crunch. Mm -mm. Super soft. And some good old cinnamon in there. Mmm, got the cinnamon. Mmm. Perfect cookie. Alright, how do you guys like your oatmeal cookies? Do you like raisins? Do you like chocolate chips? Do you like them plain? How do you guys like them? Let us know. So I was just realizing this is a huge plate of cookies and I still have one in the oven. So um, you can freeze these just fine um, if you're going to eat them fairly quickly. Like I said, I have those dough balls out in the freezer and I'll show you how I do that too. So I'm going to plate these guys up. Whatever we don't eat, probably by tomorrow I will freeze just so that they stay fresher. Anyway, doesn't that look amazing? Mm. I'm just putting my cookies away. It is 10 o'clock at night and I remembered I have my dough bites, dough balls, my dough balls in the freezer. Just pulled them out. All I'm gonna do is pull them off the silk pad or foil or whatever you have them on. Put them in here. So when you go to reheat these, all you have to do is pull them out, put them on your cookie sheet, set your oven to 350, and cook them for eight to 10 minutes. You don't even have to defrost them. Or you could just eat the dough, just because I've been doing that all afternoon. All right, so I'm gonna stick this out back in my freezer. So right before we go on vacation, I'll cook these up and we'll have a fresh batch of cookies to head out on vacation. All right, guys, I'll talk to you next time from Cooking on the Farm. Have a good night. One hour later. <laughs> you should say that when I'm done. We're gonna swap because the whisk is not going to make it through this. This is a super thick cookie dough.
Do you need help, Gingy? Come to my freezer, and we'll be right back in the kitchen. Can you take those out?